Now, you might think you know all about the shotguns in chapter four of season three of Fortnite, but I'm gonna show you some juicy tips that you might be unaware of. After a lot of testing and playing, I found some really great tricks to use each shotgun most effectively. Let's start with the Havoc Pump shotgun because I see a lot of players using this weapon wrong. You should be using the Havoc Pump shotgun more like a sniper rifle and less like a pressure weapon, meaning that you wanna be using peak shots and good cover, as well as going for precision damage. The Havoc Pump shotgun has very tight pellet spread when aiming down sights. And you can take advantage of that by using right shoulder peaks, aiming head level, and landing critical damage on your enemy. Now, when you hip fire the Havoc Pump shotgun, you wanna be aiming about shoulder height. That way about half of your pellets land on the head and the other half land on their chest. This is gonna maximize your damage and give you the best results. Now, I highly recommend pairing a spray weapon with your Havoc Pump so that you can hit someone with a Havoc Pump and then swap to your finishing weapon. I can only recommend solely using your Havoc Pump through a fight if you've got one, very good cover, or two, if you have very good movement so that you can land a pump shot move by sprinting, jumping, sliding, or clambering, and then hit another pump shot while dodging your enemy's fire. The Havoc shotgun has an effective range of about 15 meters, or three tile lengths. After that, you might as well just be using an SMG or assault rifle. Honestly, the range is pretty abysmal. In fact, the Havoc shotgun can't even deal damage past 30 meters, so it's worthless to try to spray someone gliding in or something similar. But within 10 meters, this weapon is an absolute monster. The next thing I wanna note about the Havoc shotgun is that it has a very long duration between each shot, meaning that you should either be firing it from cover with peak shots or using good movement between each shot or be swapping weapons after firing a shot and finishing with a spray weapon. But here's the big downside to swapping weapons with a Havoc. The draw time to pull out the Havoc is very long, meaning a lot of time is wasted pulling out the shotgun. Therefore, in an open field fight with no cover, it's best to land a good shot, then finish with a spray weapon and not have to pull out the Havoc again due to its long draw time. So again, this gun is best used from cover with peak shots or when using good evasive maneuvers. The Havoc shotgun requires more skill than the auto shotguns, but it does kill faster when paired with a cleanup weapon or just peak shotting, which is why it's still my favorite shotgun apart from the Breacher shoddy. Next up is the drum shotgun. Something most players don't know about the drum shotgun is that its headshot damage is terrible. Therefore, you always wanna be aiming for center mass with the shotgun toward the stomach. The drum shotgun is excellent for putting pressure on enemies and catching people out of cover. It's also excellent for barrel stuffing someone at extremely close ranges because of its poor pellet spread. You pretty much always want to hold down the trigger when using the shotgun because it's got a large magazine and the accuracy spread gets very large and takes a long time to reset no matter how fast you shoot it. So there's no real reason to tap the trigger as accuracy won't really increase unless you're firing it very slow, which is not what this gun is meant for. For zero builds, the range at which you can one clip kill someone with a blue version of this gun is 15 meters or three tile lengths, which is pretty good. Overall, the closer you get with this gun, the better. The drum shotgun deals enough damage at 20 meters to be pretty annoying for enemies, almost as good as an SMG. The mythic version of this gun at 20 meters is very deadly still. The drum shotgun can deal damage up to 40 meters away, which is pretty crazy for applying pressure at range. But past 40 meters, you don't deal any damage at all. But I will say a lot of enemies won't realize how little damage you're doing to them at long ranges. They'll just see and hear the damage effects and get scared often causing them to make bad decisions. So it's not a bad idea to put some pressure on your enemy when they're at a longer range. The drum shotgun's probably the most flexible shotgun in the game right now, and it opens up a lot of loadouts since you can get away with not carrying an SMG. If you do carry a spray weapon with a shotgun, definitely go for the flapjack rifle because of its excellent medium range and tight accuracy, even in the air. I also highly recommend the shotgun striker augment because it'll heal you with each hit landed with a shotgun. All right, next up is the standard Maven shotgun. The range of this shotgun goes up to a whopping 50 meters, which <laughs> is just absurd. If someone's hiding in a bush or behind a bushy tree 45 meters away, you can take a shot at them and reveal their location. The Maven actually boasts some pretty nice headshot damage too. The biggest problem with it is its large spread and lack of consistency. 
Oftentimes, the Maven shotgun will blank its first two shots, causing no damage at all. Even the heisted accelerant version has this problem. When using the shotgun at longer ranges, you want to be aiming for the stomach to get max damage. But at closer ranges, definitely aim for the shoulders to capture some extra headshot damage as well, because the headshot multiplier is very good at close range. Overall, I can't really recommend the shotgun right now with the drum shotgun being in the game because it's basically just a worse version of it. Although the accelerant version of the shotgun is actually extremely good, so let's talk about that. The Heisted Accelerant Shotgun is a Maven shotgun on steroids. This is a shotgun that I've advocated to have removed from the game because of how powerful it is. The nasty trick this shotgun has is that the fire rate of the gun and your movement speed increase after each shot. So one of the best ways to use the shotgun is to actually apply pressure at medium ranges and give yourself extra movement speed and fire rate, then keep moving closer while applying more pressure. The movement speed buff and the rate of fire buff works no matter what range you hit the enemy from. Now, once you're within 15 meters and you have full fire rate and movement speed, there's practically nothing in the game that can stop you. And if you're at point blank, your enemy stands no chance. This gun can kill someone quicker than they can swap to another weapon. Trust me, I know. This is fine. The heisted maven can actually kill in two shots very consistently at close range. The biggest downside this shotgun has is the amount of blank shots it will shoot within the first two shots. For some reason, about 30% of all opening engagements will blank the first two shots, so it's always a bit of a risk to use. But if those shots don't blank, there is no shotgun that can compete with its damage per second. Okay, last but not least is my favorite shotgun of all time, the Breacher Shotgun. This is truly the sniper rifle of shotguns and has very powerful utility with its ability to delete cover and leave your opponent exposed. It hits from an outrageous 70 meters away and has an effective range of 40 meters, still dealing 90 damage with a headshot at that distance. It's the ultimate peak shot and weapon from medium range because it can delete cover and deal heavy damage very quickly. Precision damage on this weapon is outrageously good, dealing up to 185 damage in close combat. Even the hip fire on this weapon is deceptively good within 15 meters. You'll hit about 75% of your shots when hip firing from 15 meters out, and nearly 100% of your shots at 10 meters while jumping around. The Breacher shotgun also has a fairly fast fire rate, just a little bit slower than a Maven shotgun. There are two ways to use this gun effectively. One way is to use it from cover at ranges further than 25 meters and aim down sights trying to land a headshot, while also being able to break an enemy's cover. This way you can ensure you don't get shotgunned yourself and you maintain a large advantage over the enemy. The other way to use it is to get within 10 meters of your enemy and hip fire the weapon, guaranteeing to land at least 105 damage per shot and sometimes up to 185 damage if you land a headshot. I'm usually jumping around when I use this weapon at close range and it always works well for me. And as a huge bonus, if the enemy runs away and tries to get around a corner, you can just delete it. It's one of the most satisfying weapons to use, although it does require good aim. All right, now we're gonna do a quick test on time to kill and how long each shotgun takes to kill someone from um, about eight meters away. Here we go. Now we're gonna use the Havoc Pump with an SMG because that's pretty much how you use that weapon. Breach your shotgun. Okay, now we're gonna do the Maven shotgun, and here we go. Okay, so that was from eight meters away. Now let's get a little closer, see if there's an advantage with one of these weapons. So now we're gonna do five meters away. This is about as close of a shotgun fight as you're gonna get in most cases. Let's see how it goes. Full auto drum shot you to the chest. Havoc Pump SMG combo, here we go. Five meters out with a high stick accelerant shotgun. That's absolutely ridiculous. Maven shotgun to the chest. Okay, now let's do um, Havoc Pump and Flapjack Rifle.
Okay, now we're standing about 15 meters away, and what we're gonna do is go for um, critical hit, aiming down sides, basically as best damage we can get from uh, about 15 meters away. Drum shot A first, aiming down sights. Now we're gonna go pump, headshot to flapjack. Okay, now we're gonna go heisted maven. It blanked, but it's still pretty darn fast right there. Let's try it again. Just outrageous how fast that kills. <laughs> and now we're going to go Maven. Fifteen meters, just the havoc. So clearly that is not the way you want to use this shotgun. Do not just aim down sights and shoot. Havoc pump should be used from this range. You should sprint, take another shot, that sort of thing. Now, if you want to master your aim with a shotgun, then you definitely want to watch this video next. I'll be doing more of these sandbox weapon breakdowns of other weapon categories. So let me know if you found it helpful and leave a like on the video if you did. Have yourself a great day. Shinobi out.